Hello everyone, this is Michael with Geek Disorder, aka Lavic. Hope y'all are having a great day today. Alright, so we're going to pick right up where we left off in the last video. So we had just set up a domain name and web hosting with HostGator. If you weren't able to do that yet, there is a link in the description where I give you a link uh, to use for HostGator and it will let you set up your first month for one cent uh, or one penny. And then, of course, uh, right now they're also doing a discount on the domain name. So I think it was just a couple of dollars to set up my first month and get my domain name, um, domain name for a whole year. All right. So once you do that, uh, if you just did it, it will take a, uh, like a few, a little while, a few hours uh, to get an email from them saying that everything is set up. It will have all your hosting information. And if you go to your domain name that you uh, uh, picked, this is mine, spud.online, spud's my dog. And so I just see it has their default web page. And I definitely want to change that. I want to put my own stuff up there. So we're going to learn how to do that today. And doing that, we're going to use something called FileZilla. So let's go ahead and get FileZilla real quick. If you Google FileZilla, you'll see it right here. And then download FileZilla client for all platforms. So it'll give you the one that you want. I have Windows. So download that. I'm just going to pick regular FileZilla. You can pick Pro if you want. It comes with some extra stuff here, but I don't need that stuff and I don't, definitely don't want to pay anything. So I'm going to click the free one and I'm going to open that up once that's done here. All right. Yes. Go ahead and run that. And I'm going to, I, I'm personally, I'm going to agree to their license agreement and uh, privacy policy. So I'm going to go ahead and close out that web page and bring that back up. All right. Now I already have mine installed. Uh, so I'm just going to click, you probably won't see this, but I'm going to do uh, add, uh, remove and reinstall components. And so this is probably the next screen that you're going to have that looks like, uh, mine. And so I want anyone on the computer to be able to use it. So I'm going to leave that checked. I want the desktop icon. So I'm going to check that. That is where I want it installed. And that is the uh, name I want it to have in the, uh, start menu. All right, so this is the first uh, screen where you need to uh, really kind of read. Basically, FileZilla is free. I'm not paying anything for it. So they offer these uh, third-party uh, software. Um, this one's an antivirus. I don't want an antivirus, at least not uh, I already. I like the one I use, so I don't want this one. So I'm gonna uncheck this, I'm gonna hit next. I don't want the browser. I'm using Google Chrome and I'm happy with it. All right, now it's going to go ahead and install here. And then once it's done, I'm going to leave this checked because I want it to run when I hit finish. And there we go. Now yours, I already had mine installed, but yours will probably look a little different. You'll probably have a, a window that says, uh, you know, welcome to FileZilla or something like that. You can go ahead and close that. But all right, so now we're going to go ahead and get into HostGator here so we can get some other information we need to actually finish setting up our site. Uh, with FileZilla. That way we can get, upload files from our computer to the web ho uh, web hosting we now have. So HostGator.com. I'm going to click on this customer login. I want this uh, portal login here. All right. And put in my email, my password. If you don't remember what password you used or your e uh, like what email you used, you can forgot password and they'll send you an email to g get that. I'm going to hit log in. All right. And what I'm interested in is this control panel here. So I'm going to launch the control panel. And then once that comes up, it's going to let us actually set up FileZilla the rest of the way so it can actually connect here. All right. And so what I'm looking for is this FTP client. I can type it in here. Oh. If I spell it right, still not right. There we go. All right. And you'll see it's right here, FTP accounts. If I delete that, it'll be underneath files. And there we are. And FTP accounts. So I'm going to click on that. I don't want to add one. Instead, I want to scroll down because they've already made a few for us. And there's Geek Disorder. They use my uh, username. And that's the one I want to use. I don't want to use Anonymous or the, just the FTP at. Uh, and definitely not uh, Geek Disorder logs. So just Geek Disorder. What you want to do is you want to click on this little blue link to the right that says Configure FTP Client. And scroll down a little bit. 
And they give you the, uh, the information to set up manually, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to use these uh, configuration files here. And so if you click on the, which one you want, I would recommend clicking on this top one, just the regular FTP configuration file. You're going to download a file. And if you locate it, it should look something like this. FTP, mine says Geek Deal Solders, and that's, that's my username. Now that I know where that is, if I go back to FileZilla, uh, and then I go up to File, I go to Import, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this file that we just downloaded, FTP, Geek Disorder. I'm going to open that. I'm going to hit OK, OK. Now if I go up to this little uh, icon here, it'll say Open Site Manager. If I open that, now you see I have a site in here called FTP.spud.online. And so and that's what I want. All right, so I could, could have hit Connect there. I can also go up here to this little drop down and click it. Now it's going to ask you for a password. Now this is not the password you use to log in to HostGator. Instead, if you go back to that email that they sent you, you'll see a password in there. Go ahead and copy that, paste that in, and hit OK. All right. Now you're going to notice when you did that, some stuff showed up up here. Basically, it's connecting to your web hosting server. And then over here, you'll see a remote site. And now it's populated with some files and folders. So that is what your web hosting file structure looks like. And what we're interested in is this public underscore HTML. So I'm going to double click that. And there we go. There's all the files and folders that are located there. Now this is their default. This default web page here. That is it. And this uh, fave icon right here is this right here. So we definitely want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that back up. And I'm just going to delete those there we go so those are now deleted so those aren't there no more so it says I there's there's no HTML here there's not an index there's not a default there's nothing for me to display so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this site I have this uh my uh, dog spuds uh, site here that I quickly made and and this is it right here basically this is your computer so basically I just navigated to where I have that stored I'm gonna highlight that basically it's his picture the HTML file and the CSS file and we're gonna learn how to make all of these I'm just kind of showing you this is an example if I drag them over here and drop them there they go they are added so now if I go back over here and I click refresh there we go my dog Spud, he has his website, spud.online. This is actually live, so you can go out and see it. Um, but yeah, so you can close out of this HostGator. We don't really need that right now. We have FileZilla set up. Uh, I am actually going to put uh, a link to a zip file with these three files. So you can actually upload them if you want. And you can see... That, that your hosting is actually working. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll put a link in the description below with uh, the link to those zip files. So you can uh, use those if you'd like, or you can, if you know a little bit of HTML and you want to throw that in there, then go right ahead. All right, so the next video, uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to start diving into HTML, start uh, learning how to make it ourselves, coding it and everything. So look for that. So until next time, y'all take care and have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good one.